It's a big day here at P-Live. Clearly, just look at the kitchen, how packed it is for a change. Now, it's our very own Kielbasi Festival and Challenge. Well, we're previewing the festival, so we're doing our own challenge to kind of get an early taste of it, if you will. And first thing I have to ask off the bat, off the bat is it Kielbasi or Kielbasa? What do, you, what do you think? What's the story there? Definitive answer? Kielbasi means more than one. Okay, so it's versus plural versus regular. And I'm looking at, for sure, more than one across our table. So I want to introduce everyone and kind of go right down the line and chat about the different varieties that we have in front of us. First of all, your name, sir? I am Brian from Uncle Buck's Barbecue. And tell me about the classy that you have. We have a fresh and a smoked, and our smoked is smoked for maybe six hours, and our fresh is just not smoked at all. Do you use any particular type of wood when you do the smoking to add flavor or? Yeah, but I use uh, hickory and cherry. Okay, a combination own, of both. You're a little special combination. Maybe you shouldn't be giving out your secrets there to get the flavor. And what's your name? My name is Brenda Sapelyak, and I'm from Kaminsky's Market. And tell me about yours. This is yours straight ahead right in front of us? Yeah, I guess it's mine. It's more my husband's. He's the maker. That's um, okay. You don't have to reveal that secret. <laughs> That's the same thing. Um, and we have been a part of PA Live um, since the very first year. So and we appreciate um, it. And my husband's had this store now for 10 years. So this is, we kind of go right along with the, uh, the festival every year. But um, our smoked is um, done a little old-fashioned way with um, cherry and uh, with the apple wood too and um, the fresh again it's hard to you know say we all have our own um, you know little ingredients and spices and stuff that we use that make it a little unique. So. Well I'm going to put both you guys right on the spot right away. What makes kibasi different from sausage? Is it because of the smoking process? I was kind of thinking about that earlier I'm wondering. Well no it's the ingredients. It's simple enough. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other sausages that are out there that are smoked. Right. And uh, kielbasa is mainly smoked outside, I think, of northeast Pennsylvania. You may not find any fresh kielbasa. I know it's hard to find it, particularly. In fact, I've had to go down to Philadelphia before around Easter time to get it. And finally, I'm going to sneak right around you. Let me chat about what we have right in front of you guys. First of all, what's your name? Anastasia and John Vishnevsky. We're and from Tarnowski's Kielbasa. And so tell me a little bit more about here. They both look good. So I'm assuming this one's the smoked one and the one in front is... Is fresh, yes. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now, do you guys have any special spices? Any little trick that you're allowed to reveal on air? If it's sacred, you can hold under your hat. The smoke is uh, part beef, part pork, and the fresh is all pork. Um, I used the old style, old style smoker. Um, it was my grandfather's a long time ago. And... Uh, I think you're, there it is right there. That's a, that's a special trick. You know, you're using that handed down tradition of how your grandfather did it. So I'm loving the smells of this. And we're going to get some of the Eyewitness News crew to do a taste test to determine who's got the best out of all this here. But first, I'm going to get some details on the event and the festival that's coming up. For that, we're going to come down and chat with you. Your name, sir? My name's Terry Womelsdorf from Plymouth Alive. And we appreciate you coming down here. So tell me Thanks, a little bit more about the event. Uh, this is our 10th year. It's our anniversary event. Uh, we have some great events planned for this 10-year uh, anniversary. We have a uh, kid zone, which is rather new this year. Uh, we've had a kid zone that was very small. It's quite large this year. And give us the time, time and place. Uh, it's August 23rd and 24th. Uh, you'll find 90 vendors up and down the sidewalks in downtown Plymouth, right on a sidewalk. So it's a walking festival, Drew. Okay, you know what? Good stuff. We're going to check in a little bit later. We'll see who the winner is and chat more. But now, let's send it over to Dave. We're getting ready for the 10th annual Kielbasa Festival in Plymouth. So joining me today is Terry Wommelsdorf from Plymouth Alive to tell us about this year's festivities. Terry, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for today. having us, Brittany. Uh, again, this year it's August 23rd and 24th. So Friday and Saturday. Uh, probably most important, on Saturday night there's a rock festival from 9 to 11 Ooh. on the Fleet Decal Band Shell. That sounds Don't awesome. Miss it. That Don't sounds miss like a Don't great time. It. Now, what are the, some of the things that I can expect? This is my first year for the Kielbasa oh. Festival. I'm really excited for it. But what are some of the things if folks haven't been to it, can they expect? Well, to give you an idea, again, it's our 10th anniversary. Uh, year one, we had 12 vendors. This is our 10th year. We'll have anywhere from 85 to 90 wow. vendors on the street. Wow. 10 You'll, years. 10 years. You'll probably find 10 to 12 Kielbasa vendors all spread through town. Wonderful. Not in a clump, so you have to walk all through town. As I mentioned, it's a sidewalk event. Sure, so you because need to walk you're eating through town. Kielbasa, you need to get some exercise and too. And <laughs> there's gyros, and there's jewelry, and there's leather, um, there's honey, there's uh, vinegar for cooking with. Um, I mean, I, I got a list that's this long. Uh, sure. What 90 vendors you can imagine. Uh, something for everyone. Now, Absolutely. is this something you should bring the entire family to? Yes, there is a kid zone, as I mentioned earlier. Um, the kid zone is uh, located on Carolina Street, and uh, definitely a family event. And you have a polka band coming. We have a later. couple polka what bands. Would be, uh, what would be a kielbasa festival without a polka band? True. 
Hey, can I add one more thing? Sure. There is also two band shells in town on okay. both ends of town. Uh, entertainment goes both Friday and Saturday on both band shells from 2 to 11 o'clock at night. And that's a total of 18 different bands. Wow. So, so entertainment music surrounding you the entire Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Now tell me, how does this benefit Plymouth? Why is this so important to the community? Actually, it's part of Plymouth Alive, uh, the, the group that I'm in charge of. And uh, it's all about revitalizing uh, our downtown, our neighborhood. And uh, just bring people downtown to spend money. Sure. It seems so easy, doesn't it? It sounds yeah. like a, an absolutely wonderful and time. It was a I great can't wait idea. to be a part of it. And it is next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend. 23rd and 24th. In downtown Plymouth. And Brittany's the judge. All right. I can't wait to try all <laughs> this. And I said, good thing that it's a blind taste test. Yes, it is. Because I would be biased with all of the kielbasa we have here on the show. So, Terry Wommelsdorf, thank you so much for thank joining. You. We'll, uh, it. We will hear more about the festival in just a little bit. Yes. In the meantime, let's go to Drew Anderson. Don't worry, I won't eat all of kielbasa right now. All right, you got to leave me some. I want to make a sandwich later, put a little horseradish on it. So a big reveal of who won the kielbasa contest coming up later, but I'm going to do a little taste testing now. Let's chat a little bit more about some of this beautiful kielbasa we have, all different kinds. For that, first of all, what's your names again? And tell us a little bit more about your place. That's Tarneski's Kielbasa. Mm -hmm. uh, we just moved to a new location. We're in uh, Nanny Coke, Pennsylvania, next to Tommy Boy's in the post office. So you had a better busy week moving. Oh, yeah. You know, last week was fantastic. Thanks, everybody, for your support. Good stuff. I like the flavors in yours. Um, it kind of right away just jumps right at me. Now, for you, I was chatting with you just right before we went on that you said a lot of the customers, and you guys agreed, are actually out of the area. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have customers that travel um, from North Carolina, um, Connecticut, New York, uh, or Jersey on Saturdays. There's always people coming from out of town. And a lot of the people may have grown up here and just miss having, you know, the, the capacity that they grew up on and stuff. So um, they make their trek. And if they don't do that, they call us on the phone and ask us to ship it. And we ship via UPS. And so. speaking of shipping, you're going to be shipping a couple things across town. You guys are moving coming up, right? Well, actually, we're not moving. We are um, going to be uh, soon opening a new uh, oh, location right. for our kibasi up in the back mountain area. Well, I really like your kibasi. It, uh, it's a little bit more savory, and I can definitely taste more spices in it. So I like yours a lot, too. And finally, we have Uncle Buck. Tell me a little bit more of yours, and I'm going to grab yours. Okay. Um, we actually have a restaurant that's right in Plymouth. So um, if it's raining during the kibasi fest, come on down. we got a full bar. we got a <laughs> uh, full dining room in the back and got a covered deck. Oh, I can we really... Ribs and ribs, brisket, pulled pork... I can tell you know your barbecue because I can really taste the smokiness of your kibasa. I can tell you what, each one of these has its own unique character to it. I was thinking maybe some of them might taste the same. Each one has completely different flavors. And I think you guys did a masterful job of kind of getting the right perfection on the recipe. And finally, let's chat just a little bit more about the big festival, why we brought all you guys into the PA Live Kitchen for that. Tell me a little bit more what's happening, not this weekend, but next weekend. Well, what I forgot to mention is mm -hmm. there is a kibasa competition. Uh, that is Saturday at 1 o'clock at the American Legion, uh, post 463 on Center Ave. There'll be signs on Main Street. Don't miss it. Uh, there'll be probably about 12 different uh, smoked and 12 different fresh to be sampled by judges. And I think some judges uh, work in this building, I think. We just may find out. I can tell you firsthand, these really do have their own unique sort of character to them. So I'm curious to see which one's going to win. I have it personally narrowed down between two, but we'll see what the final verdict is coming up later in PA Live. We'll send it over to you now, Brittany. Time to crown the winner of the PA Live Kielbasa Challenge. It is our Drum panel roll. of Eyewitness News judges had a very tough time in this blind taste test. It was extremely close, but the winner is Kamensky's Market. Yay! Yay. Congratulations. All right, Thanks. so which one was yours here? In the center. All right, right up here. I'm going to grab a piece, we, but we want to thank everyone you who participated. You guys are all winners, honestly. And next weekend, the, 24, the 23rd and 24th, is the Kielbasa Festival in Plymouth, so make sure you, t you go to that. And folks, thank you so much for joining us today. And we want to thank all of the people who came on the show and joined us today, including JW. And of course, you for watching. And Eyewitness News at 5 starts right now. Have a great weekend, everyone.